Hello, welcome to Insight. I'm Wendy Brokaw. And I'm Ross Sutherland. I'm really excited to have here someone from Women at the Well Grace House. They have been in business now. This is their fifth anniversary. Would you please welcome in studio with us Teresa Cox. Hi, Teresa. Hi, thank you for having me. So tell us about um, Women at the Well Grace House for those of us that aren't really familiar with it. Okay, um, Women at the Well Grace House was started by a very dedicated, uh, close, knit group of women, uh, I believe in about 2011. And um, they began to notice the growing number of homeless, unaccompanied women under bridges, in cars, sleeping mm. on the street. And it really s struck at their heart. Yeah. So they started off um, providing ministry and doing coat drives and stocking hat drives, sack lunches under the bridges, and then they started meeting in some of the churches, and it just sort of grew and grew and grew, and it finally came to the realization that there needed to be another women's shelter huh. here in Salem. Wow. How many people do you serve in this wonderful home on Peace Street? Mm -hmm. I know, Grace House on Peace Street, how, <laughs> how, how prophetic. Um, we serve nine women at a time. We have, we're pretty small, we have two dormitories, but since we've opened our doors, we've served over 100 women during That's that nice. period of time. And we are what is known as a uh, faith-based transitional self-sufficiency center. And we only take unaccompanied women they come to us f from a variety of uh, places, um, Coffee Creek Corrections, Polk County and Marin County uh, jails, treatment centers, um, off the streets, off the sidewalks. Oh, you have uh, a wonderful story about one woman. I do. Um, shortly after I started there, um, we received a telephone call from a woman who had just heard about us by word of mouth. You talk about a woman who was married with children that had a trauma, had been a Head Start teacher, and she's sleeping in the middle of a field in Lancaster. We brought her in, as is often the case with our women who come from the street, they spend about the first 24 hours sleeping because they're finally safe. Wow. Um, she spent not quite six months with us. Uh, she found employment and she is living in an apartment now. Wow. Oh, that is a beautiful story. You know, you told me that you have a pretty darn high success rate. What is it? We stand at 92% right now. How do you do it? What's the secret to your success? So the secret to our success is uh, based on the lessons learned from the time that Grace House mm -hmm. opened to now. And so we do have criteria. We have a very small staff, and so we do interview women for our wait list, and then we do a face-to-face -face or telephone interview with them if we're considering bringing them in. Mm -hmm. But we explain to them very specifically what our program is. Mm -hmm. It's not a flop house, it's not emergency. They have to be ready to move towards self-sufficiency. Mm -hmm. And we talk about the different phases of that program, and they have to sign a commitment that they are willing to work with us to help them get to their completion, which is income, generally employment, but income of some sort, and safe, affordable housing. We know we're doing a good job when we have women who have graduated come back and visit us. Yeah. And they're invited for dinner, they're invited for some of the programs that we offer, they're invited just to come and sit on the couch and watch a movie with our ladies, yeah. and they do come back. And, and how is, is Grace House supported? <clears throat> Um, we have a, a, pr a variety of funding sources. We have a private family foundation and, uh, and the couple associated with that foundation. We do have some governmental funding sure. um, through, um, through FEMA and through some, through some state programs and some federal programs. And we accept donations of cans and bottles. We've got a <laughs> bottle drop account. Yeah. We, may, we get our funds from so many sources, sure. which is nice. We went there. Would you like to take a little road trip <laughs> Let's with me? take a road Let, trip. Let's take our viewers on a road trip to Grace House. Okay, take a look. Women at the Well Grace House is a faith-based transitional shelter for unaccompanied women who are either experiencing homelessness or are at risk of being homeless. 
we're more of a home setting. Our ladies uh, cook meals for each other and each woman is assigned a garden bed. Most of them plant uh, vegetables or small fruits. Some women have planted flowers in between because they love the flowers. An extra bonus to Grace House is blackberries. The ladies get to come out here and just pick them by the handfuls and eat them. They're amazing. They're here typically six to eight months and their goal is to find employment and safe affordable housing. We work with them on their immediate goals and they have an individualized self-sufficiency plan. We work with many, many community partners that provide services that we don't have to duplicate. Our success rate stands at 92% now. I think our success is based on the screening and things that we do and really talking with the women face to face if we can to assess, do you want to have a different path? Are you ready to make changes in your lives? We can help with that. We have partners that can help with that. And we are going to wrap our arms around you. That's our success. We feel really blessed with such great neighbors. They've welcomed us and everything. So now that we have fruit trees, nine garden beds, whenever we have any abundance or extra of anything, we make a box and we put it for free and we set it out in front of the driveway. So that is our part on how we can give back and say thank you. For more information about Grace House, please visit us online at gracehousesalem.org. Thank you. Beautiful place. That's amazing that that's all come together in such a short period of time. Yeah. And it's, it's so really beautiful and welcoming. So what do you do for women that aren't a good fit for Grace House? Or at least uh, need other services yeah, that, that you don't have. Right. So we have a list of other, other sources mm -hmm. that we refer to and we work very closely with our population. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to make a quick plug. The growing, the largest growing segment of population that we're getting phone calls for from are women over the age of 65 or 70 <gasps> who have a small pension and are no longer able to afford where they're living. And so that needs to be something that we as a community address sooner rather than wow. later. And we get probably 8 to 10, 12 calls a week oh from just that age population. Oh, that's heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. Now, if people want to get involved, if any of you in our <coughs> audience want to know more about how you can help uh, women at the Well Grace House, how do they get in touch with you? They can go to our website, www.gracehousesalem.org. We pl place our needs there. We're on Facebook. Um, we announce all of our upcoming events. We have snippets of, of uh, different kinds of programs such as our Horses of Hope therapy program mm -hmm. and there's pictures up there, there will be testimonials. Um, that's the best place to, to go. And we do take donations of uh, gently used clothing or uh, kitchen items. We post specific needs on our Facebook page. Great. And of course, we will take cash or checks. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Given the fact that the need in our community is so great and that you're doing such a valuable thing for all of these women who have gone through your program, and I love it, they come back and visit you too. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, Teresa, for joining us today, and thank you for being here with us on Insight Today. I'm Wendy Brokaw. And I'm Ross Sutherland. We'll see you next time. <laughs>